Hello. Hi, Ashley. Hi. How are you? I'm awesome. How are you? I'm good, thank you. And what's your name? How do I pronounce it? Shaheen. 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 Yeah. Shaheen. Since last few days, I was trying to uh, register a book uh, call with you, but uh, you were not available. Uh, Thank you, Matt. I know. To get reply. And uh, one another thing is that I was searching teacher uh, who is a specialist in phonics, but you are the first person on Camly I got <laughs> who teach phonics. Oh, I see. Yes, I'm very sorry. This week has been very, very busy. Uh, okay. So I didn't have any lessons. I have only been on today. Okay. Um, but yes, I do teach phonics. Um, so, mm -hmm. but tell me a little bit about you and why you want to study phonics. Uh, actually, in my town, I'm from India. I'm uh, uh, running my own English medium school. Uh, but uh, I was not in uh, much uh, in touch with the English because even though I'm running a school, I'm always busy with my official work. I didn't get an opportunity to uh, uh, teach student in the class because I'm always running here and there and I'm busy with my official work. Uh, so I thought that uh, I should develop my English and uh, I'm uh, trying to do since lockdown. I, I got uh, a little bit extra time. Uh, but I realized I, I started my YouTube channel and when I watch my own videos, I realized my English is OK. My grammar is OK, but my pronunciation were horrible. So I'm working on it. I wouldn't say it's horrible. <laughs> no, uh, since now, uh, since uh, last few days, I'm working on it and uh, I'm familiar with uh, I have done uh, my phonetic uh, training, but uh practice was not there they just uh, uh gave us the idea uh, the sounds um, monophthong diphthong consonant vowel and uh later uh, i studied myself and they just give a a glimpse of uh, intrusion elision uh, then uh, um, assimilation catenation mm. but actually i want to bring into my practice like uh, 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 consonant to vowel linking, vowel to vowel linking, uh, then uh, uh, assimilation uh, of the sound like uh, uh, together D and Y sound uh, mixed uh, Jew, um, like those things. Uh, so I want to study it uh, nowadays. It, it's coming a little bit in my uh, speaking, but I want to practice it more. At least I think six months, one year, if I practice with the native speakers, I'll be able to pick up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so you, you, I guess you know a lot of the theory then. You know a lot of the information, knew, but it's just I about knew, practicing. Uh, theoretical part I knew, and I'm trying to bring it in my uh, spoken, in my practice. Uh, but I think sometime due to lack of practice or I don't have anyone around me to speak with. So uh, mm. it's not coming that much uh, in my practice, what I want. I want to speak yeah. like you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. And I know it's very it's not difficult. Possible. Uh, I knew it's not possible. I don't want any accent. I just want a neutral accent. I, I mean, and one more thing, I want to uh, confuse people. They should think that where she is from, which country belongs to. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so yeah, I understand. Uh, obviously, you know, it, it's not, uh, you know, you learn the theory and then you know. It takes a lot of practice and a lot of time. But yeah, you can definitely have a neutral accent. It's very possible. Okay, okay. After yeah. listening to me, uh, what do you think? How much I knew and uh, uh, um, how much it's in my uh, spoken and how much should I uh, practice? I would say that actually your accent is is not, not bad. Um, there is some sounds, obviously, that are, you can tell that you're from India, I'm guessing. Um, but... Uh, in general, I don't think you have a very strong Indian accent. It's just okay. uh, little things that you can hear in, in a sentence. 
So I don't think it, it's a, a big problem. Um, obviously, when you watch your video back, you are more critical, maybe, yeah. of, your, of yourself. <laughs> I realized um, that so. I, I was pronouncing here, but actually it's here. I prefer British accent, so I should pronounce here. Uh, there was, there was, so I was saying there was. So it's, it's <laughs> I feel that. Yeah, it's it's like differences, and you're right, in different parts of the UK or different parts of the world, English is spoken differently also. Yeah, um, and uh, I get confused with the, uh, means uh, it's uh, theoretically it's clear, but when I speak in flow, I always make, uh, mess with the sound v and w because where where were you? So I sometimes say where were you? So <laughs> it's yeah, it's very mess. common. <laughs> um, I think because in, in 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 India it's the it's the same sound, right? Yeah, yeah. I think. Um, so you if I you find it harder to hear yeah. the difference. I knew it, but uh, when I speak. Uh, I mess up with it, and uh, uh, you native speakers identify it uh, very easily. Yes, but that's just with practice, and mm -hmm. the more that you use it, the easier it will become. Mm -hmm. What um, do you think? I, uh, how many days should I practice? Oh, that's up to you. Um, yeah, I think a, a good tip is not just to use Cambly, but also. Um, I have some students and they will listen something and they try mm -hmm. and like listen to a sentence and they repeat it, but they yeah, record yeah. themselves. I also, so I also can... emit it. Native yes. Speakers. So um, the more that you can practice that as well as talking to native speakers, I think uh, as much as possible. I won't okay. give you a certain amount of time, but um, okay. yeah, as much as you can. Is there is there at least fifty percent accuracy uh, in my uh, spoken language? I would say more than that. Um, okay. I don't want a percentage on that, but I would say more than fifty percent. Okay. Um, yes, I'm just wondering what you want to do today. Um, uh, I want to learn I don't neutral know. accent. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so maybe we can, I have lots of lessons on my computer uh, okay. about simulation or about stress or um, so we can focus on a certain area. Um, do you have any preference? Uh, no, um, or you can teach me according to you. You got my level, what is my level and you can uh, teach me according to that. Okay, so yeah, I don't think we will focus on the IPA system. No, I know, um, I'm familiar with. Because I think you already know yeah. this. Yeah. Um, so maybe, let me see what we have. We have some assimilation, intonation, weak forms. Yes, yes yeah, since last two three days I was studying weak forms. Uh, weak forms of A and the uh, far from uh, then that, uh, then uh, us as. Uh, like far, far, f, to, t, z, z, uh, from, as. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe maybe we can um, look at weak forms then. Yeah. Um. So I'll just send you. Oh, I don't know if I can send you. If I have to just share. I don't know. Can you get to your messages? Yeah, I'll get it. Okay. Um. Let me try and send it to you. Okay, one second. It's just loading. Okay. Before I was like, I used to say go, so, no. But after learning phonetics, I come to know that it's so, no, go, almost. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah. I mean, there's there's a lot of things that uh, in the phonetics most. Uh, field. Before I used to say most, but now it's most. They. Yeah. Before, so you, before it, I was like they, it's they, they. They, yeah. 
Um, right. Well, let's do, I don't know. We'll try this one on weak forms. Um, it's sending. Okay. So if you wait one minute, it should open. Um, and we can have a look. Yeah. Oh, it's so slow today. Um, so tell me more about uh, tell me more about the fact that you have a, a English school. Yeah. Is it open right now? Or how long have you had no, this? No, due to lockdown, it's closed uh, since 15th of March. Mm. Long time. Are you missing it? So much. <laughs> so much. Yeah. I mean, everything is, is kind of stopped. Yes, it's, a little like, bit. The world. it's like life has been stopped. Yeah, and I hope it starts again. I don't yeah. like it. No, now it's unbearable. I know. It's a, it's a shame. Yes. And yeah, and everywhere is kind of closed also. So it's very hard to go anywhere or do anything. Yeah. Yes. Um, but where, where are you in India? Maharashtra. Have we, have you been to India? I have. I went uh, 2018. Okay, uh, just I visited. Two years. Yeah, about two years ago, and I came for three months. Three uh, months. So That's quite a long time. Yes, I, I mean I wish it was longer, but um, I loved India. But the I mostly was in the north, um, okay. kind of Manali. And where else? Le. Okay. Um, and right. this part is really beautiful. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, you had come uh, for your vacations or regarding some work? Uh, so it was supposed to be a very short vacation uh, for three weeks. Okay. And then I extended and extended and extended. <laughs> uh, so it ended up being three months. Okay, um, what do you like yes. in India? I I love it. I just love um I love the food. I'm vegetarian, so uh you know there's a lot of vegetarian options. The food yes. is very good. Uh the people are very friendly, it's very colorful and crazy and <laughs> chaotic. Colorful uh, in the city. Sports. Just very <laughs> colorful, yeah. I mean, everybody is wearing colorful things. Yeah. There's just, uh, the shops are, you know, there's a lot of, it's just a colorful place, I think, compared to England where everybody is wearing black or uh, dark colors. Okay. So for me, it feels like a very alive place. Yeah. 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 I think so. I like it. Right. Did that send? Did we did we get it? I didn't get yet. I didn't get yet. I oh, think it maybe will... I, maybe I can just share the screen. That might be better. Okay, you uh, can share. Let me see. So, let me know if you can can see. But but, but now you are uh, you are not visible to me, so I don't think uh huh, yeah, I can see. I can see the screen, strong and weak form. But you can't see me. Yes, <laughs> I think due okay. to slow network. I don't know uh, now, if I can I do can both. Now I can see you. Now you can see me and you can see the screen. <laughs> yeah, I'm both. Yes, okay, we're winning. Um, so yeah, this is a kind of a, a bit of an introduction. I know that you've already um looked at strong and weak forms yeah uh, so we'll just qu quickly go through um yeah so which words tend to be weak form uh function words uh, uh small structure words uh, like uh, for of a and yeah 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 you you and why you are yeah year a little bit longer than uh, then them uh, then uh, was were uh, 
uh, yeah, as, you're right. All of these are uh, as uh, then uh, so. So we would say usually it's kind of grammar words. Yeah. Uh, so prepositions, pronouns, articles. Uh, yes, all of these things here. Mm -hmm. um, because our, our language is not um, syllable timed. Um, it's stress. So we stress certain words. We don't stress every syllable. Yes. Yeah. So these words are not important for kind of the sentence. So we don't um, focus on them. Yes. They become weaker. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So on the opposite side, the strong forms are the main verbs, the adjectives, the nouns. Yes. The the words that give meaning. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna skip to. Uh, we'll skip these because I think you know all this. Um, one would be from. Do you know from? Yeah, you're right. Um. So where are you from? I'm from Newcastle. Uh, I'm from Newcastle. Okay, I'm so you can Northern practice. Ireland. I'm from Cambridge. What do you notice about the from in question and in these answers? Mm -hmm. So, it, where are you from? I'm from Norfolk. So, uh, uh, should we say from or from? So, if it's the question, we say from. Okay. But the oh, because because answer, it's, uh, it's at the end of the question. That's why we have to say from. Yes. When a word stands alone or at the end in the question, we have to use strong form. Well, it's it, because it's an important word here. Yes. Where are you from? So the, the you would become weak, but the from is important, so we stress it. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Norfolk. Where, where are you from? From. Where are you from? And the answer? I'm from India. Yeah. So the from becomes from. From. I'm from India. I'm from India. Means uh, there will be contraction of am also. I'm from. Yes. I am. I'm. I'm. I'm from India. I'm from India. Yeah. Good. Um, yeah. So from is a preposition. So it's not important. So we don't. Um, in the question, it's unstressed, but it's still pronounced from. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Can you see that? Yes. So now I'm going to let you practice. There's four sentences here. Okay. Uh, I borrowed it from my brother. I read the book from cover to cover. Uh, yeah. The the nearest post office is uh, far from her. Far from her. Not her here. Okay. Okay. The okay. The nearest post office mm, yeah. is not far yeah. from here. I'll I'll repeat it. The nearest post office is uh, not far from here. Yes, but when we do the here, it kind of becomes ear. So ear. not far yeah, from you drop ear. the H H as well. Yes, the H is. is uh, but uh, but I noticed that it's it it happens in a, a, a regional accent for standard RP accent. We have to put H. Yes, uh, for me, I, I'm from the north of England, so we would say ear. Ear. Um, okay. Yeah, we we lose the H. Okay. Not far from and here. Sometimes he as well. What, sorry? T, T as well. And when a T comes at the end of the word, 
you drop the tea. Yes, sometimes uh, yes. we do. Yeah, that's a, another a, a accent, accent, regional accent. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. And the last one? Uh, come over anytime from seven o'clock. Come yeah. over anytime from seven o'clock. Perfect. So we got that one. Um, have you heard of the, the bean? Yes, uh, usually we uh, pronounce it bean, but uh, when we have to use big form, we should say bean. Yes. Very, so, very uh, uh, Thin and bean. Yes. Good. Um, so some examples. I've been mm. in London 17 years. I've been. I've been in London 17 years. I've been or I've been. 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 Mm. Contracted form is uh, weak form. Yeah, so this uh, this is um, I have, I've. I've, I've been 17 years. I've yeah. been in Paris seven years. I've been in Rome for more than a year now. Um, yeah. Did you did you notice that uh, it doesn't sound like being? Oh, okay, it's it's just an informative sentence. Yeah. Did so you notice just... that? Okay, go ahead. It doesn't sound like been. It sounds like been. Been. Um, yeah. So the the auxiliary verb been is not stressed, so we pronounce it been. Been. Okay. Okay. So this is another weak form. So we'll practice that one. There's another four sentences for you. Hmm. I've been working here for several years. How long have you been waiting? It's been years since I went to the cinema. What, uh, what have you, uh, what, uh, what, uh, sorry, I'm trying to uh, contract it, but it's not possible. What have you been up to since we last met? What have you been up to since we met last uh, last met? Yeah, so check that one. It's been. Been. What have you been up to? What have you been up to since we last met? What I'm doing, I'm not concentrating particular on that uh, word only. I'm trying to make all the sentence uh, according to the uh, phonetics I have learned. Like I, I was trying to make the short form of how with what, but it's not possible. <laughs> yeah, we can't, we can't contract the, the what have. Yeah, what? but uh, or, or we can what say have. what have you, what have you means we can drop H and we can say what have you been up to since we last met. Yeah, and the two would be T. What have you been up to? What have you been up to since we last met? Last met. No yeah. need to pronounce E as well. Last met. What have you been up to since we last met? Yeah. So this becomes been, to, have. Yeah. Good. And, last, and one more last. We can drop the T. Last. Last met. Last met. Yeah, last met. It's still the, yeah, we dropped the T mm. a little bit weaker. Right, and the last one I'll show you today is, I think it's can. the last one. No, we got another one. Can. Okay. So, yeah, this is a can, but sometimes uh, when we're pronouncing it, pronouncing it, can. it becomes what? Can. Can. I can speak two languages. I can speak two languages. I can run quickly in a race. I can speak uh, seven languages. Yeah. So can becomes can. Yes. Yeah. So that's just talking about that. Can is unstressed. Yes. So it becomes can. Okay, and let you practice those ones. Mm, can you help me bring the shopping, please? 
I can swim further than I can run. Uh, I can swim further than I can run. I can succeed if you work hard. Uh, sorry, you can succeed uh, succeed if you work hard. Uh, how far uh, how far can you throw a tennis ball? How far can you throw yeah. a tennis ball? Actually, I'm using my mobile, so texts are too small <laughs> to read. No, but you're doing very well. I noticed you did the schwa with this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you're doing good. Yeah. Because ah, what becomes a? Uh. Uh. How far can you throw a ball, a tennis ball? How far can you throw a tennis ball? Tennis ball, not ball, no? ball. That's a again ball. an ac regional accent. So. <laughs> For me, it's ball. Okay. Okay. How is your schedule? Uh, could you share with me, please? Because uh, I'll uh, book a few lessons with you. What happens? Uh, tutors are not available according to my time. I need uh, 10 p.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, Indian time. And uh, uh, tutors, uh, it's not a good idea to talk uh, no new tutor, tutor every time. Two or three tutors are enough. So uh, I thought that uh, just for uh, with two or three tutors, I'll book the lessons because I have taken I have subscribed for three months and uh, I'll go further after uh, means uh, I want to practice for a okay. few more months. So if I knew the schedule means uh, I can talk particular with those uh, tutor because you know that what I want every time when I change tutor. I'll have to explain whole thing, and at the end, that person will <laughs> say me, "I'm not a right person to deal with phonetics." <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, you want a lesson between ten and twelve, yeah, Indian time. Yes. What time is it there now? It's a uh, four o'clock in India. Especially that time only available uh, for uh, to book your lesson. So I thought that, okay, I'll keep my work aside for today. I'll talk to you and I'll convince you to give me time in between 10 <laughs> to 12. <laughs> 10 to 12. I'm just trying to work out what time that will be for me. Um, I'll work it out and then I'll send you a message. Um, okay. Uh, till 11th November, I have booked a lesson uh, with my regular tutor, uh, two lessons with her and uh, two lessons with two different tutors. And after 11th November, if you give me time, I can uh, book lessons with you, means uh, we can work together. Yes, perfect. That sounds good to me. Um, yes, because I, I am doing a lot of other work. So the Cambly okay. is kind of, uh, I'm taking a step back a little bit. But okay. so, but I can open lessons for you okay, if we find the so right time. Uh, okay. So I probably won't do a, a full schedule, but I can do, I don't know, 30 minute time for you every oh, week. Oh, so kind of you. <laughs> Two 30 minute, yeah. So today is quite early for you. You're still working. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so what is your official job if you're... Uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm doing my official work, like a uh, maintaining record, doing official work because it's the, uh, government, uh, we, we have to follow all the government rules. Even though my school is private, we have to follow all the rules. So, so many official uh, uh, things are there. So you mean like, uh, admin administration? Yeah. Work. Yeah. Administration and, uh, 1920 people are working there. So. Managing people, handling people, it's a tough thing, I think. Yeah, a tough thing. Um, <laughs> I hope that the school can open soon. Yeah, uh, we are expecting they, after Diwali, have... Diwali vacations. A festival is coming. A big festival yes, of India is coming. Soon. Right. Uh, is it next week? It, it's on the 13th of November. 13th. It's starting. What? Yeah, it lasts for three, four days. So then after that, the school will open again. Yeah, we are expecting. I wish, I wish it should open because now it's unbearable. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> right, we're going to run out of time. But it yes, was very yes. nice to meet you. Uh, me too. I'll send you the message 
and you please okay. uh, share your schedule with me. Okay, bye.